Hey guys, uh, it's just a quick video of my latest project. That's what I've been doing since then, since the Kang Tao project, the Cyberpunk 27.7 Nerf Blaster thing. Uh, this computer case here is a this is a custom water cooled uh, PC. It's 3D printed case that took about 276 hours to uh, print. It doesn't. It probably won't take you 276 hours. I just used 0.2 and 0.3 millimeter layer height, and I went a bit slower than usual, or something like that. Um, so your, your results may vary. Now the STL files are in the description below, they're on Thingiverse, uh, so you can go grab them there. There are definitely easier ways to design this case, but I was going for a very specific aesthetic uh, design, so that's why everything's sort of suspended from the top, as you can see, and sort of hanging there. I wanted this sort of floating effect. The CAD software I used there was Autodesk Inventor. I just use it because I'm uh, familiar with it and here is the final showcase of the project all finished completed etc if you want to look at the specs of the parts um, such as the i7 9700k and the GTX 1080 Ti all that stuff is in the description below so you can look at a list of all the what, are, what parts are in there uh, all the water cooling stuff is EK um, and full cover water block there on the graphics card and as you can see everything's sort of rotated 90 degrees so the rear IO is actually the top IO now so um, now you have an access hatch on the top it also features uh, two 240 millimeter radiators uh, EK 30 millimeter thick uh, and one is in the front and one is on the bottom underneath the shroud they both have uh, two LL120 series Corsair uh, 120 millimeter uh, RGB fans on them and also there's a reservoir in the rear there that's actually a distribution block or distro block um, that you that EK sells for the Leon Lee cases so you can just go buy that if you if you wish that's just what I made it for and you got the EK pump that comes with it and the drain port on the bottom there next to the pump at the top you got the access hatch here you can see your top IO on the motherboard and graphics card and power supply and all that stuff all the cables run out the back so it's all nice and neat here is the final product shoot of the photos. So that sums up uh, this project. Uh, if you like, the download the files. They're in the STL files on the Thingiverse. The description, link in description below. And like this video if you appreciate my work. And uh, subscribe for future projects. I think my next project is going to be a Cyberpunk 2077 uh, weapon that is not a functional nerf blaster uh, this time around it's just going to be a like a prop for cosplay or collecting or whatever it is anyways thanks for watching uh leave a comment below if you've got any questions uh see you in the next video